Hey guys, it's Mike of WordPressHowTos.com. Today I'm just going to make a short video showing you how to make what's called a subdomain. And this is you have to go to your cPanel account, log into cPanel. Now I have used HostGator and highly recommend HostGator. And this is what cPanel looks like in HostGator. What is a subdomain? Just real briefly, I'll show you here. A subdomain is would be your subdomain name and then there's a dot and then it would be your main uh, website domain name and the cool thing about a subdomain is first of all in HostGator you can make unlimited subdomains on on your account I believe and very helpful say if you want to just have uh, well just make a lot of different websites now what you have to understand though is you have to actually if you have WordPress on your main domain uh, WordPress will not be automatically uh, on your subdomain when you make your subdomain. You have to it's a, treat it basically like its own website, except that it, the domain name is a subdomain of your main domain name. Now you can also install WordPress on what's called a subdirectory, which would be your main domain name, and then a forward slash, then subdirectory. I like to use subdomains for making test sites and demo sites for clients and that sort of thing and just goofing around and you know test site for testing out various plugins and themes and that sort of thing without maybe breaking my main site the subdirectory I would use a subdirectory on my main site just to have a, kind of a different like I say I have I wanted to put an e-commerce site on my main uh, web, web website I would use a, a subdirectory and then just have it have a menu item in my in my menu which, which would go right to my subdirectory and a subdirectory also you have to install WordPress on on the subdirectory to make it a subdirectory other than the you can't it doesn't just automatically have WordPress just because you have it on your main domain so how do you make a subdomain very simple you're on your cPanel and then you just scroll down to domains and then click on subdomain now there has been some de debate about the SEO value of subdomains and that sort of thing. So if you'd like, you can make it like say if you want to have a different category of something. It's like say if I wanted video marketing on my to create onlineprofits.com, which I haven't really done anything with this domain, but I'm just using this as a test test site. So I would make it video marketing, and then I will just click on create. And that is all there is to it. Now I'm going to go to uh, marketing dot two eight nine and I don't think anything will show up here, but uh, let's let's find out. See now you notice it's. Uh, it's it's showing an index that's what's in the files right now because I haven't ins installed WordPress but anyway that's what it looks like right now but if you had WordPress on there it'd be its own separate website so that's how you make a subdomain in HostGator cPanel thanks for watching and uh, please comment rate and subscribe and as always keep on keeping on